all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brick, coming at you fast with another Destiny Legendary Loot Guide video. And today we have ourselves an exotic pulse rifle, though. I need to start saying exotic, because that's, that's mostly what this is turning into, really. Since a lot of people have all the legendaries already, or at least most of them, or at least the ones that they want, or at least one. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, well anyway, this is an exotic pulse rifle, and it's known as the Bad Juju. This thing is pretty beast looking, not gonna lie. It's a pretty cool gun. Uh, it looks looks even sexier when you're holding it. And, you know, I don't, I'm, I have mixed feelings about this weapon, okay? Now, this weapon is awaiting a patch as of now, and so is the Thorn. And I have no idea what the patch is supposed to do, but it's supposed to, like, buff them. It's supposed to make them stronger. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to increase either the mag size for both weapons or increase the reload speed for both weapons. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it, I would say that there is a buff in need. Um, because these exotic weapons are pretty mediocre. And I don't want no mediocre. No, I don't want no mediocre. You know what I'm saying? So, we need, we need the best kind of exotics. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway... It's still a really cool weapon, and it's still okay. It's still pretty good. If you have this weapon, it's still pretty good. So you have really balanced stats here. You have the rate of fire, the range stability, and reload, all pretty damn balanced. The only problem is the impact. It's kind of poo-poo, so doesn't really make it that good in PvP, uh, and I actually wouldn't recommend using this thing at all for PvP whatsoever. <laughs> it's 100% a PvE weapon, and I'll get into why. Now, the positive to this weapon is that it is fully automatic, as a pulse rifle, so all you have to do is just hold down the trigger and it will shoot. It has a really fast fire rate, so it does feel pretty damn automatic. Uh, you have the three different variations here. Um, I would go with stability, to be honest, because this weapon does have a bit of kick, which for pulse rifles is pretty bad. You don't really want kick ever on your weapons. But for a pulse rifle especially, because you want to make sure you get the headshots. You want to make sure you get as many headshots as possible, that you're always able to do that. Um, hip fire, this weapon has bonus actual hip firing from the hip, that's pretty good, I mean it's a pulse rifle, if you're up close, you can't really aim with it, so hip fire is good too. Upgrading damage, armor piercing rounds, I don't really use this just because I don't usually try and get collaterals with this weapon. Um, and then you have send it, which increases range and accuracy, that's pretty useful, and then perfect balance this weapon has extremely low recoil, I don't know which one I'll pick, because again, without send it, the range becomes really, really, really bad. And pulse rifles should have a little bit of range on them at least. So I don't know. I don't know which one I'll choose. Uh, but for now I have send it. Now here's the weapon special ability. We got ourselves string of curses. This weapon reloads instantly and increases damage for a short time after each kill. And when it means instantly, it literally means instantly. There is no animation. Once you kill somebody, the ammo is replenished instantly. Which is pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, if you're killing a bunch of dreg or a bunch of enemy that you can kill with five bursts, and you kill them, you don't have to reload. You can just go on to the next one. So, in a sense, this gun can have infinite ammo. I mean, fucking, like, in, in the clip, at least. This gun can, you know, have a really large clip, basically, if you get kill after kill after kill after kill after kill. And the damage bonus is pretty good. Um, it's like a 40... Does like 40 extra damage per shot per bullet so it's pretty good it's pretty good and then you have the upgrade damage and now where did i get this weapon well i got it from an exotic bounty known as tolan's legacy tolan's legacy and it's a really tedious one let me tell you that it's a pretty annoying one you got to do 25 strikes you have to complete 25 strikes um, then you have to wait for Jure. You have to wait for Jure, the guy who sells you all the exotics. You have to talk to him. He gives you, like, this one, like, token thing, drain weapon thingy. I don't even know. And then you have to do, uh, what else do you have to do? You have to go to the gunsmith. He infuses some things into it. And you have to kill people in the crucible. And then I think there's one more, one more thing. Something like that. I don't remember, but they're, there's, they're just really, really tedious, tedious tasks. But it is a really cool looking weapon, and we will get into the gameplay right. So, as you can see right here, this gun is glowing. That's right, that's not a glitch. That's pretty sexy-licious. So the gun itself looks pretty awesome. It's got a glowing skull. It looks, the reticle looks really cool too. Um... It's just that the, there's 15 bullets. So when, when fighting enemies, like, pay attention to the ammo right here. When fighting ammo is like Fleet Scion, 
I get my ammo back easily. Same thing with Phalanx, Phalanx, you know, all these easy little guys. I don't have to reload. I started off with 15. I still didn't reload. I still have my ammo in my gun. I still have my ammo. No need to reload. Still don't need to reload. I'm just killing everything. So in this sense, it's really good in the fact that if you're killing these little guys that you deal a lot of damage to, it's no big deal. Now, do note, guys, that I am level 27, and these guys are level 26, so I'm dealing about 20% more damage. Um, so, that take that into effect when thinking about this. It's not actually this strong. When you're, when you're fighting enemies the same level as you, it's not this strong. But it's still pretty good. I mean, it's still an exotic, after all. It's still pretty good. But when fighting bosses, like big bosses, the um, that's where the clip size does matter because you're not going to kill the boss in 15 bullets and regenerate your ammo. I mean, you might kill an ad, you know, to the side and regenerate your ammo or something, but you're not actually going to... If you're 1v1ing a boss, yes, 1v1ing, like if you're fighting Fogoth, you're not going to be able to do that. Like, look at that. I had to reload for the first time this entire video just now. So, it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. Like, this... This is a pretty cool weapon. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very unique weapon, and it's the only weapon in the game, obviously, with stability, since all exotics are unique to each other. But as you can see, like, for killing ads, it's really good. And this is its fully auto mode, that's how quick it shoots, but if you're fighting something bigger, like a Minotaur Disciple, you are gonna have to reload, unfortunately. Now, I did upgrade the damage a little bit as well. Uh, if you don't upgrade the damage, this gun is kinda suckish, so you really do have to just wait. Just you gotta grind it out with this weapon if you wanna make it good. Um, but it, it is pretty, um, it's pretty useful when fighting just like regular missions when you're not really fighting bosses or when you're just running through enemies that don't really have large health bars, you can just run through them. You literally can just run through them. But when fighting like Centurions, for example, if you're just going to shoot at a Centurion, um, you know, his shield's going to absorb it. You're going to have to reload it, especially since you can't get headshots while they have shields. You have to get headshots with this weapon. You really just do. Like if you're not getting headshots with this weapon, you're not going to be getting kills. Because that is where most of the damage comes from. And as you can see here, the Centurion is a big boy. And he takes a lot of damage. And it's just the f matter of fact that uh, this weapon doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't do that much damage. Unfortunately, guys. But, against again, against enemies like these where you can kill them in one clip. And you can reload instantly. It's an amazing ability. It's really, really freaking cool. It's really freaking cool. <laughs> so... I mean, it, it's it's situational. It's situation. Overall, balance wise, it's all right. It's okay. It's not good for bosses, but it's good for everything else. It's not good for PvP. It's okay for PVE. Makes it a little easier. But at the same time, like if you have a pulse rifle with twice the clip size, where you don't have to reload that much, or like you know, like when you even if the re if you do have to reload, you know, your reload speeds are pretty quick. It's just initially when leveling up this weapon. The fact that you only have 15 bullets and the fact that you don't instantly reload after a kill is, it's really tedious using this weapon. Like, I just found myself not even using this weapon as much. I just, what I did was I used a different weapon and then when I turned in bounties, I just switched to this weapon so that the XP would go towards this weapon. But, um, it's a cool weapon. It's a cool weapon. I feel like I talk too much bad stuff about this weapon. It's really good. It's just the fact that it has a small clip and getting to the part where you need to regenerate that ammunition is just really, really, really difficult. So that's about it, guys. So there you have it. There's the bad juju. Pretty sexy looking gun. Finish Toland's Legacy, and you'll get this gun for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, make sure you have a wonderful day.